This is an unboxing of the Arbo Leaf Body Composition Scale. As you can already see, there's an app that goes with it, an Android and iOS, so iPhone and Samsung, that sort of thing. Multiple use um, users and Smart Cloud, and you can track your data. So let's check it out. Let's see what this looks like. First of all, it comes with batteries, and let's unbox it. Well, it's pretty light. I thought it would be a little bit heavier. It is like sturdy heavy. Let's check it out and then at the end of the video I'll show you how to set up the app. Um, but it's very simple. Let's turn it over and let's put the batteries in that they provided. This takes three AAA batteries. I'm going to plug those in there. And then I see there's a direction set in there. I'll have to get that out. And so far, that's what that looks like. You can see the weight. That's pretty cool. All right. And let's see what we have here in the bag. A set of directions on how to use it. Your measurements, do's and don'ts. And initial setup. So I'm going to have to register my account and download the Arbo Leaf app or scan the QR code. And I'll do that now and move into the. So now I'm going to take you to show you on my phone how to get the app. You go to your QR scanner on your phone. It's going to take you to a link that's going to take you where you need to get your app. So on my phone, it's for the Google Play Store. I'm going to click install. And in order to sign to install, I need to sign into my Google Play Store. So just fill that information in if you're in Google. If you're an iPhone, you're going to go to your App Store. And I'm going to continue and add it to my phone. It automates that process. It's just going to throw it into your phone. And if you don't have a scanner, a QR scanner, number one, you can get it from the App Store. Number two, you can go back to the App Store. In my case, it's the Play Store. And all you have to do is type in the name of the app, which is Arbor Leaf. It's going to pop up Arbo Leaf. And you're going to click install. It's going to push it to your phone. Once it pushes it to your phone, let's open it up. And then you're going to put in the metrics information for what your weight is. In pounds, kilograms, or ST, I'm not sure what ST is, and in inches or centimeters, then you need to sign up. So you click sign up, and it's going to push you into setting up your account with your email, your password, and then your profile. You got to set that up with your name, birthday, height. Athlete mode is if you exercise a lot, it's going to change the, the look and, and the shape of your body. If you have a Fitbit or a Google Fit, you can connect your accounts here by clicking on them. I'm not. And then you're going to have to allow permissions for the app to get inside your phone, basically. So allow permissions. And then once you get on the scale, you got to get in your bare feet. That's basically the information that it's given you. And right now we're going to measure. And what it's doing is identifying a stable weight. So if it's up and down, up and down, it's not going to identify it. So stand still on the scale in your bare feet, and then it'll identify that weight. Once it identifies that weight, it's going to push it into the app. So it pushes it into the app. And then you can see in the app everything that it comes with, BMI, body fat, body type, visceral fat, muscle mass, body water, bone mass, BMR, metabolic age. Great things to track, especially if you're on trying to uh, lose some weight or gain some weight. It'll help you know more details of whether or not you're healthy. These icons at the body, bottom are under the history, so you can see what your history of muscle mass or BMI or bone mass. Good things, again, to be able to track. And then your metabolic age. That's pretty cool. So then under my account, it's going to show you the weights that you've had. And if you want to add a user, that sort of thing. And then you can manually input information if you need to and control your device by press, pressing the plus sign at the top. 
Hopefully you found this information useful. Thanks for watching the Arbo Leaf Scale information.